Here's another graph. It's also a velocity graph, but the graph itself is different. What we want to do is interpret this graph. In other words, we want to understand what type of motion is this describing. Well, think about what happens to the velocity as time goes on. Well, the velocity starts here at zero. And then as time goes on, the value for the velocity gets greater. So along this segment of the graph, during that first time interval, in other words, from this time to that time, the velocity is increasing. And so I'll make a note of that on the graph. The velocity is increasing. Now let's mark this this time right here and this time right there, those are critical times on this graph. During that time interval, in other words, as time goes on, you can see that the velocity always stays right at this height on the, on the graph. The velocity doesn't change during that time interval. So we say during this segment, it's moving at a constant speed or a constant velocity. during that time. Not during the entire time, but just during this time interval that's moving at a constant velocity. Now think about this third segment right here. As time goes on through that third segment, you see the graph is sloping down there. That means the value for the velocity is coming down. It's slowing down during that time. So I'm going to say decreasing velocity and then at the very end right there it comes to a stop because the velocity right at that point is zero we're all the way down to the bottom on the V graph V is zero at that point now again this graph does not mean that the object went up and over a hill and back down the other side this object is just moving along a line so again you can think of the car driving along this is still just motion in one dimension so the car is driving along. What this means is that it, it picked up speed going forward, and then it just cruised at a steady speed for a little while, and then it slowed down to a stop. And one more graph. The graph is flat along the bottom here, and then it angles up. So there's two segments here. And notice that it's, it's flat right here, right here where the value of our velocity graph would be at zero. So during this time interval, its velocity is just zero that whole time. Well, if the velocity is zero, that means it's not moving. It's sitting still. The velocity is zero. It's not moving. And then during this second time interval here, from this time to that time, you can see that as time goes on, it goes up. So the value of the velocity is increasing during that time. That means that during that segment, it is increasing in speed, or we'll say increasing velocity. So this graph right here represents that motion. It sits still for a little while and then it starts increasing its velocity, it starts accelerating. So those are just a few examples of interpreting graphs of velocity. Don't get graphs confused if you have one graph of velocity versus time and then another graph of position versus time. They're different things. So and with that we'll wrap up chapter one.